Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the unwanted signals present in the FMCW altimeter. So what are the various unwanted signals present in the FMCW altimeter? So before going into that I want to just recollect what do you mean by FM altimeter. So FM altimeter is nothing but it is used to calculate the height from the earth surface. FMCW or simply FM altimeter is used to calculate or find the amplitude uh, what is it height from earth surface okay suppose one object is there let it be an aeroplane so this object is incorporated with a radar system at the bottom of this one with two antennas one is for transmitting antenna another is for receiving antenna this is the earth surface so what is the general operation that this antenna will do is what this this radar system will do is the transmitting antenna will transmit the signal onto the earth surface and the earth will reflect the signal towards the receiving antenna so receiving antenna will collect this signal and sends to the radar system. So after this process we will find what is the amount of height or range. We can call it as a range in the horizontal way but vertically we can call it as height from the earth surface. At what height the antenna is moving especially when, we, when antennas are when uh, aeroplanes are moving in a uh, hill areas such type of application is mainly used. FMCW radars are incorporated in the aeroplanes to calculate the height from the air surface during hill areas. Okay, suppose if the hill area is very high where the antenna where the aeroplane can uh, hit the hill area. Okay, in such cases uh, it should maintain some minimum height from the earth surface. In, uh, so every time it calculates what is the height that the plane is traveling. Uh, suppose if it is uh, nearing the hill area then it uh, uh, goes up and again when it is going to the normal surface again it is coming down. So such type of things are happening with the movement of the aeroplane. So always it is used to calculate the uh, height of the aeroplane from the earth surface in such application this fmcw altimeters are mainly used okay now when you are doing this type of thing what are the different unwanted signals present in the experiment okay so there are several signals are going to be present in this uh, measurement i will tell you one by one with this diagram okay so in hill areas mainly mainly used in hill areas okay always calculates always calculates the height from ground always calculate the height from the ground so that it changes depending on depending on the requirement the height will change depending on the requirement the height of the aeroplane from the earth surface it will be changed okay now this is the way how the number of signals are going to be transmitted from antenna transmitting antenna to the receiving antenna See, I told you already the uh, radar system is incorporated at the bottom of any aeroplane to calculate the height from the air surface. So, transmitter, this is the transmitter which is used to transmit the signals onto the air surface and this is the receiver which is used to collect the signals from the air surface. What we are generally thinking, what I told you, transmitter is used to, transmitter is used to transmit the signal and receiver is used to collect the signal back reflected signal this is what the general expectation imagination but practical when we are coming to the practical cases several unwanted signals will also be presented 
uh, along with the original required information original required signal so see here several signals are going to be presented among these uh, only one signal is presented that is, is with a solid line this is the required signal this is the required signal whereas the remaining all are unnecessary signals i will explain what is what individually take the example of first signal here each and every signals which are uh, uh, flowing from the transmitter to the receiver are shown with a uh, number so when the signal is transmitted from the transmitter through this antenna into the free space there is an impress mismatch occurred between the transmitter and receiver some part of the signal will be reflected back due to impress mismatch due to impedance mismatch between whom mismatch between transmitter and antenna we know very well suppose if the impedance output of this transmitter output impedance of this transmitter and input impedance of this antenna if these two are not matched properly then what happens because of impedance mismatch the signal will be reflected back standing waves will be generated okay so because of this signal some part of the signal will be reflected back towards the transmitter so this is the loss due to impedance mismatch some part of the signal will be reflected back towards the transmitter itself which should not occur generally okay so coming to the second uh, second one what is the second signal some leakage signal should be connected from the transmitter to receiver in order to calculate the range frequency fr or doppler frequency fd okay so we are connecting a transmitter uh, leakage signal that is f not again due to mismatch due to impedance mismatch due to impedance mismatch between whom and whom now transmitter and receiver transmitter and receiver the signal will be reflected back towards the transmitter okay so if you see this diagram you can understand see the transmitter signal along with this uh, in the forward direction towards the antenna some leakage signal should also enter into the receiver because we need to eliminate what is the amount of transmitter signal frequency in the receiver so this part of the signal is going into the receiver but due to impedance mismatch between the transmitter output and the input of the receiver some part of the signal will be reflected back this is what should not occur so it is a loss which is an unwanted signal present over there coming to the third case what about the third signal okay in general we are thinking that the antenna uh, we are assuming that the antenna transmitter and receiver antennas are separated but uh, uh, they are not entirely separated okay the parabolic antenna will be might be con uh, connected in this way so when it is connected in such a way some part of the signal may enter through the parabolic plate because of some leakage over there so due to the leakage power due to the leakage power some part of the signal some part of the signal will be reached to the receiving antenna receiving antenna but it it is also not required thing so coming to the fourth one what about the fourth signal see here we are expecting that signal should directly reaches this uh, air surface and again reflected back towards the receiver but when we are transmitting the signal onto the air surface so signals may be scattered in many directions some signals may be reflected back towards the antenna transmitting antenna itself okay so signal reflected back reflected back towards transmitting antenna 
towards transmitting antenna so if the signal is reflected towards the transmitting antenna itself then there is a loss because we don't need such type of thing actually we need only the transmitter signal should enter into the receiver coming to the last uh, unwanted signal that is double bounced signal which is known as double bounced double bounced sorry double bounced signal double bounced signal c by seeing the waveform you can understand the seeing this c the signal actually we are thinking that this is the required signal that touches this is a air surface and reaches this receiver this is actually should happen but due to some other reasons like movement of the aeroplane and a signal may not directly go towards the receiver so some part of the signal go touches this air surface and again reflected back and touches this parabolic reflector surface and again going onto the surface and again reflected back towards the receiver how many times the signal touches the air surface two times here it is one time here it is two times that's why it is known as double bouncing signal here in this case what we need to understand here is in the fifth case fifth case is quite different compared to the remaining cases remaining cases we can say directly all these are unnecessary signals but in the fifth case uh, the signal goes on to the air surface and reaches the receiver but it, it is an unwanted signal because because of double times it touches the air surface how many times it has to touch only one time if it touches the air surface two times the signal the range will be double the range will be doubled if it is 200 kilometers because of this double bouncing it will be like it will be showing like 400 kilometers because it goes to air surface and again reflected back and again going to the air surface again reflected back so the distance will be more compared to the original distance original distance or height we can call it as height here okay so that's why double bouncing signal is a problem which should not also be considered which should not be considered so whatever the signal we are here here it is shown in wanted signal that is the original signal we are expecting to measure so these are the different unwanted signals that are generally present in the measurement of fmcw altimeter cases okay so why we are explaining only about altimeter in the fmcw the main application of this fmcw radar is an altimeter case to calculate the height of the earth surface height of the aeroplane from the earth surface okay so we need to take care of all these unwanted signals and we need to design the radar system properly and uh, uh, the receiver must be able to capture whatever the whatever whatever the received signal uh, originally that means whatever the wanted signal we need to measure that should be calculated and remaining all should be eliminated okay thank you